Hi guys, it's Malik again with a new video. Today we will learn how to make a portable Windows 10 on an external storage device. All the steps for installing Windows 11 will be exactly the same. As an external storage device, I will use a modern high-speed SSD M2 NVMe 256GB. I will also be using an external enclosure for this type of drive. So, we take this SSD, place and fix it inside this case, as necessary. After the SSD is placed in the external case, we connect it to the USB port of a computer or laptop. As you can see, immediately after connecting my SSD M2, was displayed in the Explorer under the letter D. Now we need to go to the Microsoft homepage and download the official latest version of the Windows 10 ISO file. To do this, open the description of my video and click on the link to the Windows 10 download site. The Microsoft website page opened. Here you can read the rules for using Windows 10. To download the Windows 10 ISO file, we need to download the utility from Microsoft to the computer, and to do this, click here. The application has downloaded, and now you can close the browser. Now let's open Explorer and open the folder Downloads. Double click on the icon, and the utility will start. Here you must accept the terms of the license, accept. In this window, I choose to create a bootable USB flash drive or download an ISO file. Next. If you uncheck the box here, in this window you can select the language for Windows 10. I left English. Next. In this window you need to select the ISO file. Next. ND then select the folder for the ISO file. Save. The ISO file has started downloading to your computer and you don't need to do anything for a while. You can continue working on your computer or relax and have a cup of tea or coffee. The ISO download has completed and now we need to download the program to burn the ISO file to the USB drive. For this purpose, I suggest one of the best free programs in this line. This is the Rufus program. Open the description of my video and click on the link to the Rufus download site. Scroll down a little and click here. This is a small application and it quickly downloaded to the computer. I close the browser and open the downloads folder. I double click on the icon and the Rufus interface opens. Everything is simple and clear here. At the top we see my SSD M2. Press, select, and choose Windows ISO. Click, open. Now you need to open the image parameters and select Windows to go here. This will allow you to use the drive as a portable one. Now you can click, start, and in the window that opens you need to select the Windows 10 you need. To save a license for Windows 10 on a SSD M2, you must select the same version as on your computer. If you have Windows Home on your computer, choose Windows 10 Home. If you have Windows Pro installed, choose Windows 10 Pro, and your license will work for this Windows in the same way. I have Windows 11 Pro installed on my computer. Okay. In the window that opens, you can select the settings you need. I will not check the box in the top line so that using this flash drive I can remove the virus on another computer, transfer files from the disk to another disk, and so on. Okay. Yes. Rufus warns us that all data on the M2 SSD will be completely erased. I click OK, and the process of creating a portable Windows 10 has begun. The process of creating a portable Windows 10 has completed and I am closing Rufus. Let's open this PC and see how portable Windows 10 was created. I open the SSD M2 and here we see all the necessary Windows 10 files. Now we need to continue installing Windows 10. And to do this we need to restart the computer, call up the boot menu and load the SSD M2.
Immediately after the start of the reboot, continuously press a certain key on the keyboard to bring up the boot menu. I press the F12 key. For you it could be F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key. There is no single standard and different computers may have different keys to call the boot menu. The boot menu has opened. Most likely your SSDM2 in the boot menu will look different. Using the keyboard you need to go to the SSDM2, press, enter. The Windows 10 boot process has started and the computer will automatically reboot several times. In this window, you need to select your region. Yes. Select the keyboard layout. Yes. I'll skip this. In this window, you need to read the license terms, except. I will use this Windows 10 for personal use. Next. In this window, you can sign in to your Microsoft account. To create a new Microsoft account, you need to click here. I want to create a local account, so I click here. In this window, you need to enter your account name. Next. You need to enter a password here, but I'll do that later. Next. I turn off all privacy settings so Windows 10 will run a little faster. Accept. The new Windows 10 welcomes us. There is very little time left before the process is completed. Yes, the installation of Windows 10 was completed successfully. I hope the whole process went smoothly for you too. Let's open this PC and see what Drive C looks like on a SSD M2. Yes, Drive C looks quite unusual here. Instead of the Windows 10 logo, we see an icon of a USB flash drive. The disk with my Windows 11 is called Disk D here, and all the files on this disk have not changed at all. I open Settings, then the Accounts window, here we see that Windows 10 on SSD M2 is managed by a local account. To log into a Microsoft account or create a new Microsoft account, click here. Let's check how the activation of this Windows 10 went. For this I will open the Update and Security section, then open the Activation tab. Yes, the new Windows 10 was activated automatically according to my Microsoft Digital License. This concludes my video. Thank you very much my friends, and I hope this will help you to use your computer successfully. If my video was helpful to you, please share it with someone else. Have a nice day everyone.